Hi guys, Ed Mac Designs here with a After Effects basic tutorial for beginners. Um, when you first load up After Effects, especially in CS5 and CS5.5, you'll be greeted with this window. Um, it just basically shows you your most recent projects. You can open them, you can new composition, find help and browse templates. Now generally I just, just click close unless I want to finish off working on one of my recent projects. So after clicking close, you'll be presented with the blank After Effects windows. Um, first thing I like to do when I've installed After Effects is if you come up to your Preferences pane and then you come to Appearance. I like to play with the brightness until I'm happy. Now, in the night, I generally bump this up a little bit and in the day, I bring it down a bit until I'm comfortable because sometimes you'll be working with After Effects for quite a while and it can affect your eyes and you really want to be focused on what you're doing. So it's one of the first things I do. If you've got a dual core CPU or um, a quad core CPU, anything that has a multi-powered CPU, if you come to your memory and multi-processing, by here you can select how much RAM you want to give to the CS5 suite and also how many cores. Now I'm running on a quad core machine so I've ticked render multiple frames simultaneously. CPU is reserved for other applications that's basically how many CPU cores does the Adobe CS5 suite leave for other application, applications such as I don't know Skype, Safari. So I've, I've set it as one so After Effects can use three CPU cores. That'll give me three times the power of if I was just using one core. So after we've done that, just press OK. Right. Now we've got our our, our setup sorted. To import your clips, if you come up to File and then Import. File, multiple files, doesn't really make a difference. Only difference is, is that multiple fi files will, after you've selected the file and you've imported it, the pop-up box will appear again asking you for the next file. So I tend to just click File. And when this loads, you can import pretty much any media file. And because I'm on a Mac, I can't import WMVs because it's a Microsoft codec and it's not natively supported by Apple. So if I come and import one of my uh, random clips, but for some reason OS X doesn't seem to want to allow me to do so. Bear with me. Okay, sorry, I've restarted uh, my Finder application. Right, if I import uh, one of my videos, so I've selected the video I wish to import, and then I click Open. After Effects is going to import that clip into its uh, project window and it, it'll, it'll appear here if you create any solids, compositions, they all appear here. Now for today we're just going to work on this clip and this clip only. So what I want to do, I want to drag this clip onto this little box for here and I'll create a new comp composition with the same length, same setting, same quality as the original clip. Now I have the clip on my timeline, I can scrub through and see the clip. Great. Now, if you want to add an effect directly to this clip, it's just effects, and you pick the effect that you want. Um, if you have more than one clip in this box and you want to apply the effect to more than one clip, or all of them, if you come up to Layer, New, and then adjustment layer. As you can see, nothing's actually happened. It's like an invisible layer. Now on this adjustment layer, I can uh, apply pretty much any effect that I want. If I just come up and add a quick blur, and I bump up the blur in the effects controls, again, where the project window was, these these are where the plugin effects will appear. So I turn up the blurring, as you'll see, that's blurring my footage. If I hide that, that adjustment layer, 
that footage is now back to the original way it was. Now, let's just say I'm happy with the way this clip has turned out. So I, I want to save my project for further work. So I'll come up and I'll go File, Save. I'll just name it Tutorial. Right, that's saved. Now, I need to render this clip to make use of it. So I'll come up to Composition and I'll click Add to Render Queue. Now this will bring up another little window on the bottom over here. And you'll see what you've got waiting to render. Now for this example I only have this one clip. So on output module, if you click lossless, this is where you can change your quality output, uh, whether you want to include audio or not. So I want to change from QuickTime to H.264. That's what I tend to use. It has quite a small, um, small file size, and it still keeps the quality. So. Video outputs, yes, RGB, depth, millions of colors, great. Now if you click format options, here you can select the actual quality of the clip. So I want CBR, constant bitrate. And it's currently set to 0, 0, uh, 0 0.6, which isn't great. So I'm going to bump it up to around 3 megabytes. So it's still going to be quite a relatively low, small file size but the quality will still be quite crisp. I press OK. I haven't got audio on this clip but if I did I need to click audio output. By default After Effects will render the clips without audio. 48.000 uh, is basically CD quality and 32.000 is low CD quality. So generally if it's for YouTube 44.1 it's quite a nice, uh, nice quality because it's a smaller file size, but it's still crisp enough to be able to hear it, to be to be heard the way it should be heard. So you press OK. Output two. Now, if you click on the not yet specified, again you can tell After Effects where you want the rendered file to go. So this time I'm going to put it on my desktop, and I will call it Tutorial. Save, and that's done. Now over this side you have a button called render, pause and stop. The pause and stop are grayed out because obviously it's not rendering at the moment. So I want to click render. After effects now we'll quickly render my clip. Here's your progress bar. Uh, your lapse time, that's how long it's taken. And you generally have an estimate remaining time here. Now because um, this is such a quick clip, it's done this in about 19 seconds. So the estimate time doesn't really apply. Right. If we come to my desktop now, hide screen flow. There's my clip. Open my clip. As you can see, it's what I asked After Effects to create. It's blurred. And as you can see by the quality, it's quite a nice it's got quite a nice quality to it. For three megabytes per second. And the resulting file size of this is only 1.4 megabytes. That's 1.4 megabytes for an intro. Um, that's pretty good. So yeah, that's pretty much the basics of After Effects importing clips. Um, saving your clips, saving your projects, rendering your projects. Um, so yeah, give it a go. If you have any problems, leave a message below and I'll sort it out for you. And uh, I'll see you soon.